Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change a door seal or gasket on this front-loading LG washing machine. If you've got a leak at the front of your machine, there's a high chance it could be the door seal. Water and detergent can settle in the bottom here, causing the door seal to perish or leak, which is certainly the case here. Door seals or gaskets vary from model to model, but the process will be fairly similar. The most important thing you need to do is to make sure you've got the right door seal for your model. And for that, you'll need your exact model number. On this model, it can be found inside the door on this silver rating plate, as you can see here, model WM1225FD. Now, safety first, always remember to unplug the appliance before carrying out any work. To get to the door seal, what I'm going to have to do is to remove the whole front panel. And to do that, I need to start by taking off the top. And then, just pull the top back and lift off. To remove the front control panel or fascia, I first need to remove the detergent drawer using the quick release. Then I need to remove these two Phillips head screws here and two clips at the back. Now to release these clips, just use a screwdriver or blunt instrument just to pop them out. And just rest it on the top there. Now to remove the kick strip, Simply use a flathead screwdriver or coin to release the filter flap. Then what I need to do is release the front drain hose and then unscrew this Phillips head screw here. And then it simply pops off. Now to remove the front panel with the door First, need to open the door up and release the retaining band around the door seal. And for that, I'm just going to use a very blunt knife just to ease the band off. And then release the door seal off the outer lip. Just then rest that in the drum. Then unscrew these two Phillips head screws for the door lock. And then I need to remove two Phillips screws at the top. And then three Phillips head screws at the bottom. Once you have your front panel off, simply remove this hose that connects to the seal here. And here you can see the sprung band that's holding the seal on on the inside. Now, the best way to get that off is get a flathead screwdriver in here. Now, it is quite a tricky job this, so make sure you put it aside enough time. That just leaves the door sill to come off the inner lip. Nice and easy, like so. Now, while you're here, while the machine's open, it's a good idea just to wipe down any dirt that's inside. So when you put your new seal on, it's nice and clean. Here we have our new door seal. Now the pipe that was at the top of the old door seal is not sold with the new seal, so do make sure you retain that. That simply slides from the underneath and clips in to place like so. Now, a few markers as to how the door seal fits on. You've got your drain holes at the bottom there 
they should be at six o'clock of the drum. And you've also got a little arrow at the top of the seal there, which matches up with the little arrow at the top of the drum. Top tip, if you get some washing up liquid and run it around the lip that's connecting to the drum lip, it just makes life a little easier. So making sure your arrow is in place, work that lip around the edge of the machine. Now, the hardest part about getting a door seal back on is getting the inner sprung band back around the door seal. Now, for this, an extra pair of hands may be needed. The technique I'm going to be using is with two screwdrivers, flathead screwdrivers. Top tip, get the sprung part of your band into position first. So that's nice and secure. Manually work around as much of the band as you can. Grab your two screwdrivers and just work the band into position. And again, very similar to changing a bike tire. Always being careful not to puncture the door sill itself. Once that's done, all that's left is to reconnect your pipe. And put it back together again. So, that's one brand new door sill fitted to this LG washing machine. Now, if you need to find a door sill for your machine, you can find it at the eSpares.co.uk website. Thanks for watching.